Madam Speaker, I am very grateful to Shri Yashwan Sina, Malayan Singh Ji, Shah Yadav Ji for their comments on the child statement that was issued after thermal shake and also the what I said in the G8 meetings in Italy, I will cover all the points uh, and clarify all the issues. Madam Speaker, as I have said many times before, we cannot wish away the fact that Pakistan is our neighbor. We should be good neighbors. If we live in peace as good neighbors do, both of us can focus our energies on the many problems that confront our people, our acute poverty, which afflicts millions and millions of people in South Asia. If there is cooperation between us and not conflict, vast opportunities will open up for trade, travel and development that will create prosperity in both countries. It is therefore in our vital interest to make sincere efforts to live in peace with Pakistan. But despite the best of intentions, we cannot move forward if terrorist attacks launched from Pakistani side continue to kill and injure our citizens here and abroad. That is the national position I stand by. <laughs> Madam Speaker, I have said time and again, and I repeat it right now again, it is impossible for any government in India to work towards full normalization of our relations with Pakistan unless the government of Pakistan fulfills in letter and spirit the commitment not to allow its territory to be used in any manner for terrorist activities against India. This was a commitment, as my friend Vishwan Sinha mentioned, made to my distinguished predecessor, Sri Atal Dari Vajpayee, and it has been repeated to me in every meeting I have had with the Pakistani leadership. The people of India expect these assurances to be honored, and this government recognizes that as the common national consensus. Under. Madam Speaker, the attack on Mumbai last November outraged our nation and cast a deep shadow over our relations with Pakistan. The reality and the horror of it were brought into Indian homes over three traumatic days that still haunt ours. The people of India demand that this must never happen again. Over the past seven months, we followed a policy using all effective bilateral and multilateral instruments at our command to ensure that Pakistan acts with credibility and sincerity as we would expect of any civilized nation. Soon after the attacks, the United Nations Security Council imposed sanctions on the lashkar e taiba and its front organization, including the jamaat al dawa It also imposed sanctions on four individuals connected with the organization, including one of the masterminds behind the Mumbai attack, Zakir Rahman Lakh. 
we exercise great restraint under very difficult circumstances, but made it clear that Pakistan must act.